Half of that fire, WVTV Steve Onisorts has details, all new at 5. For a week now, flames from the South Mountains fire have been relentless, with smoke so thick at times the midday sun has a place to hide. Scary. Folks in the Bob's Knob community weren't worried last week, but every day since then the fire has come closer. Even today, without high winds, it still crept along. Yeah, it's moved it quite a ways. And now it seems the target is on them. Coming this way. Yes, sir. Ricky Hoyle has already packed up his Jeep with plenty of clothes and his precious guitar. Like others, he has a feeling of uncertainty. I don't know where to run or stay or what. Lisa Smith doesn't want to leave her home, doesn't plan to unless sort of to. We're going to stay last minute till they make us leave. A fire truck is right outside her door, and helicopters did dump water on trouble spots nearby, and a wide buffer zone has been cut with a bulldozer. On a day like this, a fire line like this could stop the fire cold, but if the wind picks up, the embers will go flying and go a long way and take the fire with them. I shot this video near Lake Lure last night. Watch how just a slight breeze moves the embers. Imagine gusts five times as strong. That could happen this weekend. People here say they believe in the firefighters and the higher power too. The God's in control. And there has been more prayers than a few these past few days, they tell me. In Burke County, Steve Onisorge, WBTV on your side. They back it out. Here is a live look.